I would like to open this opening ceremony of the academic year, uh, thanking above all the rectors of the three university, universities that are behind or collaborated with, collaborating with uh, eBay. Uh, welcome, Vice Rector of the University of Barcelona, the Rector of the Autonomous University, and the Rector of the Porto Fabra, <laughs> who will open uh, the uh, session. Uh, I pass. I pass the turn to her. Eh? So you have the floor. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Excelentíssim alcalde de Barcelona, eh, president de l'IBEI, magnífic rector de la Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona, vicerector de la Universitat de Barcelona i director de l'IBEI, aquí som, som molts, com veieu, eh, professors, estudiants i personal de, de l'IBEI. So, dear, dear friends, as a rector of uh, Pompeu Fabra University, I would like to welcome you all to our university and to the Ciutadella campus, where you will be staying for the, for the coming month, at least. So I, I'm convinced that one of the most fruitful experiments for a university graduate is studying ab abroad. Uh, like all of you have decided to do it at the eBay in Barcelona, and I'm sure that uh, this it will uh, mean many positive uh, things for you. Uh, First, it's true, it, it's true that you will uh, live away uh, from, from your home and, and your family, but you will meet uh, new people and you will uh, make good friends, I hope uh, many uh, good friends. So in addition, I, uh, you will discover a different culture and you will have the chance, uh, the chance sorry, if you want to learn other language, uh, such as Spanish or uh, Catalan. But above all, you will expand your mind to gain new and enriching uh, perspective to face your uh, future professional uh, lives. So that's, I think that's uh, the most important. So my advice to all of you is uh, to take advantage of this opportunity and work hard during this uh, next academic year. And what's more, you should make the most of your stay in Barcelona, an open and a cosmopolitan city that has a long tradition of welcoming uh, foreign students. As you will see, Barcelona uh, has a lot more to offer than, than its nice weather, not, not today, but it's, it's okay that, that it's raining. Uh, Barcelona offers culture, leisure, uh, sports, food, and much more. <coughs> so, and of course, you can also uh, travel around and discover Catalonia. Uh, that is, uh, at least for me, very, very nice and, and has a very nice uh, local traditions. So, dear students, I wish you a good academic year at the eBay that uh, this year, uh, it's uh, 20 years old and all the best for your, uh, your stay uh, in Barcelona. Benvolguts estudiants, us desitjo molt bon curs acadèmic a l'IBEI, una molt bona estada a Barcelona, la Pompeu Fabra és casa nostra, la Pompeu Fabra és casa vostra. Thank you very much. Now, I pass the floor to the rector of the Autonomous University of Barcelona. Thank you. Excelentísimo Mayor of Barcelona, magnífica rectora de la Universidad de Pompeu Fabra, by rector of the Universidad of Barcelona, academic authorities, president of IBEI, director of the IBEI, professors, students, friends. It's a pleasure to, to be here with uh, you today at the opening lecture of the Barcelona Institute of International Studies. First of all, I would like to point out that since the creation almost 20 years ago, 
The eBay has been a key institution in promoting postgraduate research and training in the field of international relations, politics, and development. And it's great for me to see the recognition it is receiving at the European and international level scale. In this sense, the UAB's involvement with the Institute creates synergies and promotes a joint effort in international quality training and research in the area of international relationship. An interdisciplinary training that can count on eBay's great ability to put students from its continuous education program in contact with international institute, institutes and organizations where they can further develop their professional career. I would also like to mention that as a demonstration of the success of this effort to foster academic training in international studies, at the bachelor degree level, the UAB double degree in law and international relationship this year holds the highest cutoff mark in the university entrance exams of all the social science uh, degrees. And additionally, the collaboration between universities and the eBay is the driving force behind this research and excellence that attract talent and reinforce a network of connection between our researchers and the main international agents, international institutions, private enterprise, and NGOs. This network must serve to facilitate the objective of continuous to play eBay's related researchers as leaders in the study of international relations, comparative political science and governmental and social response to global change challenges. I would like to end by uh, welcoming all new students and researchers to the Institute. I wish you a magnificent academic year. Thank you very much. Now is the turn of Ernesto Bascal, the Vice Rector of the University of Barcelona. Yeah, thank you very much. Authorities, professors, master students, I would like to address myself to the new students of the, our 23-24 master's course of the IBEI. Welcome on behalf of Joan Guardia, which is the rector of University of Barcelona. On this occasion, I would like to highlight the importance of, of science and the role of universities. We are fully aware that we live in a troubled world. And recent news about Gaza, Ukraine, and Syria, etc., etc., make us more aware of the state of our world. At this point, I think that it's important to vindicate the relevance of universities as open places to discuss political affairs. Universities are the homeland of academics, the common house for people coming from everywhere. There are no country borders for universities because academics share the same values, the same principles. Which are these values or principles? Let's remember Robert Merton, the prestigious American sociologist who proposed four values of science 80 years ago. The first one, universalism. Science is valid everywhere, and scientific validity is independent of the sociopolitical status or personal attributes of its participants. Second, science is a public good. That means that scientists should have common ownership of scientific goods. And for that reason, collaboration is required. This revolutionary principle is the foundation of open access and open science, the new model for scientific research. The third, no particular interest. Scientific institutions act for the benefit of a common scientific 
enterprise rather than for the personal gain of individuals within them. And finally, science must be critical. All ideas must be tested and are subject to rigorous community scrutiny. This is the, uh, now I, we finish with Robert Merton. These four values are shared by Catalan universities and of course by universities in every country. I think it's important to keep in mind these values, not only do, during your academic career, but also when you finish your studies. Finally, I welcome you to the course that you are starting right now, and I express to you my best wishes for this exciting journey. Thank you. The moment has arrived to welcome our first, uh, our principal uh, invited person, the rector, the rector, sorry, the mayor of Barcelona. Uh, Jaume Colliboni uh, has become mayor of Barcelona four months ago, more or less, <laughs> but has a trajectory of preparation for this important and hard role. Uh, he was a <clears throat> member of the uh, Socialist Trade Union, UGT, Union General de Trabajadores, when he was young, has been member of the Catalan Parliament, has been vice <coughs> mayor of Barcelona in charge of the economic affairs, has been member of the council, the city council of Barcelona for more than 10 years, so is better prepared than anybody to manage the difficult, but the magnificent and beautiful job of being mayor of Barcelona. And thanking again for coming with us to be the, uh, uh, speak uh, in this uh, session. Uh, I move the turn to him. So you have the floor, <coughs> Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, thank you for your words, uh, Mr. Serra. As you know, Mr. Serra he was the former, former mayor of Barcelona. In fact, uh, he was the first mayor in the democratic period. And obviously for me, it's an honor uh, to participate, to sharing this, this event with you. And that's because uh, I am here. And obviously, uh, todos los miembros de la comunidad universitaria, magnífica rectora, Eulalia de Nadal, magnífico rector, Javier Lafuente, uh, Ernest Abadal, vicerrectora adjunt del, de la Universidad de Barcelona, y Jacín Jordana, director de Ribé, y a todo el personal que colaboreu uh, y trabajeu en aquest centro. And obviously, to all of you, our warm welcome on behalf of the City Council, on behalf of the City, to our city, dear students. Um, I, as far as I, I said, I am delighted to participate in this opening ceremony of the course of the Institut Barcelona de Studis Internacionals, a center that is certainly a benchmark in studies and research around international relations and global challenges. Barcelona City Council has supported the center and been a board member since uh, the, its creation in 2004. Uh, from our city council, we're firmly committing to strengthening the international fabric of the city in all, all its spheres. And Barcelona, a European and Mediterranean city open to the world, combines uh, several international assets, 
such a, an important world events, internationally connected knowledge centers as the eBay or CIDOP, and international networks of cities. We have close relations with cities in the, in fifth, in the fifth continent, citizens of various regions or outward-oriented business and social fabrics. Clearly, the international arena is one of the main hallmarks of our city. This privileged range of assets also implies a responsibility since it gives the city a preeminent international capacity and clear ability to bring the voice of cities to other spaces and levels of governance. In according with the priority areas of the Council, it allows us to play a prominent global role. As I will explain in more detail after, later, this international voice from Barcelona takes on special relevance in the present state of affairs. We are in the midst of the Spanish presidency of the European Union and Barcelona has a key role. I would like our city to be decisive again to and contribute all its capacity, prestige and power so that this presidency is a success and allows us to strengthen the European construction. The major cities are the driving force of the common European project. Cities are the setting for exchanges and projects. But, above of all, we're the meeting point for millions of Europeans. Mutual knowledge is the essential basis for building Europe. And Barcelona has to play an active role to spread his knowledge to the rest of countries and continents. All of us here uh, are we aware that the current political scenario is complex. Since 7th October, thousands of, thousands of people have died in Gaza and Israel, and several hundred have been connected. According to the United Nations, 62% of the fatalities are women and children. Despite the accumulated anger and horror, it is never too late for peace. It is time to break a spiral of war that only generates greater destruction and suffering for the weakest. If we think and act from the level closest to the people who today, is, is, who, do, who today in Israel and Gaza are suffering the cruel consequence of the conflict, we can move towards a humanitarian solution and open a path of hope for peace. In Barcelona, we know, in Barcelona we know this very well because Barcelona has demonstrated his unique capacity to find paths to peace when they seemed impossible in the past. This is what we did in 1992, when Mayor Pascual Maragai promoted the District 11 Sarajevo, a cooperation project with no equivalent in the world before. This is what we did in 1998, with a, an unprecedented initiative such as the agreement of friendship and cooperation between Barcelona, Tel Aviv, and Gaza. We did so with active support for the peace process in Colombia that culminated with the signing of peace agreement between the Colombian government and the FARC group. In 2016. And we did this from the first minute. The war broke out in Ukraine and we opened a humanitarian corridor with this city and Kyiv. Now it's time to preserve. Our duty is to keep hope alive for all the men and women of Gaza and Israel who today have nothing but hope. However, 
Barcelona as the capital of Mediterranean and headquarters of the Union for the Mediterranean wants to act with greater conviction than ever as a bridge between the countries, cultures, and religions of our sea. It's never too late for a new agreement. It's never too late for peace. From our own history and experience, we know that peace cannot remain an abstract wish or a declaration of good intentions. For this reason, we join to the call for humanitarian ceasefire that allows the opening of corridors for essential aid. This is one we, we have done from Barcelona City Council, but sending an extraordinary aid of 300,000 euros to meet the needs on basic food assistance and water supply of the population of Palestinian refugees who are in the Gaza Strip right now. Now it's time to go further. Peace begins with our ability to bring positions closer together, cultivate empathy, and seek solutions without, without violence. And Barcelona wants to be the stage in which to make it possible. In a few weeks, we have a unique opportunity to crystallize this commitment. This month, Barcelona will be hosting the Summit of Ministers for, of Foreign Affairs uh, of the European Mediterranean in the framework of the Spanish Presidency of the European Union. As Barcelona Mayor, and as a president of the government, Pedro Sánchez has expressed, I offer Barcelona to Israel and Palestine and to the entire international community to make it possible for this summit to reach an agreement that allows. Firstly, by putting an, an end to the suffering of the civil population and at the same time, establishing the basis for a new peace agreement between the confronted parties. It is time to get involved with all our political, social, and human capital to stop this, the escalation of violence and prevent the conflict from spreading to other areas with and no consequences. Barcelona as a city of human rights and peace assumes the responsibility of being a beacon that guides others to seek a better world. Furthermore, the heart of Europe, Ukraine, continues to suffer from the unjust war promoted by Putin. At the same time, this war is causing warring destabilization in Russia itself. The far right is making dangerous advances in the governments of our neighborhood, neighborhooding countries, and this translates into the erosion of rights and freedoms in all of Europe. Also, we are seeing, in, we are seeing it in autonomous communities of Spain right now. At the same time, we run the risk that this political context relegates and make us forget the two most important urgent challenges that affect us as humanity. First, the climate crisis and the profound geopolitical, economic, and social changes it implies. And second, the social inequalities suffered by, by an important part of the population. All this can lead us to discouragement, but we have fight it. Spain, Europe, and the world need Barcelona more than ever. Our city, along with the rest of the world cities like Paris or Warsaw, will be an engine of progress, justice, sustainable growth, and at the same time, a bastion of rights and freedom. To make it possible, we need a clear, thoughtful, and daring strategy and Barcelona has it. Barcelona is back. Barcelona is back. I like to affirm these days. 
Barcelona is here to return to the center that has always existed uh, and that connects with the best tradition of great mayors of Barcelona, as Mr. Serra. We are, we are here to recover that Barcelona ambition. My commitment is for an open, diverse, plural Barcelona to also be a generator of opportunities and builder of bridges with the rest of the world. In short, the Barcelona of global ambition and human scale. We have, as a city, a solid foundation, the result of a more competitive city project with more and better services and more sustainable. Barcelona is the best city in Southern Europe to live and work, according to the recent City Talent Index report by Entity Data. We are in the top five of international ranking congresses. We are the permanent headquarters of the Mobile World Congress, for instance. We have brought the America's Cup to Barcelona, as well to the Manifesta Culture Biennale for 2024, or the World Capital of Architecture for 2026. We are a, pro a progressive government in a progressive city. And the measure of everything is people. This is why Barcelona is a city of life projects. People of 179 different nationalities live together in the city in almost one in every, in every three people in Barcelona were born abroad. It is a city in which anyone, wherever they come from, can develop, can develop their life project. A welcoming, happy, free Barcelona. This is compatible with, this, with a civic and safe city. We take care of our own and also those who come in order to them to feel like another local from Barcelona so that they feel will come and can develop the project. It is necessary to make it easy for them, for you. We are determined to achieve it, but we need, we need it, all of you. I invite you to share this ambition, conviction and intelligence that Barcelona deserves and the, the historical moment demands of us. With this vision and with the, uh, with the ambition to promote Barcelona's international benchmark city, recognizing, recognized for its quality of life. We have five levers to make it possible. One, city diplomacy. Maya Maragais, the second democratic mayor in, in our modern history, uh, has uh, the vision of the cities as a global actor is more valid than ever nowadays. Local governments must have a voice and vote at the international decision-making decision table. Second, diplomacy and economic promotion, that the city consolidates itself as an economic capital and southern Europe and continues to attract talent and investments. Three, scientific, scientific and technological diplomacy with cutting-edge projects such as 22 Ad our Ciutadella del Coneixement, uh, La Ciutadella Knowledge Hub, when we are here in that moment. For cultural diplomacy, ours is a, capac is a city that has a triple capital st uh, status, Catalan, Spanish, and Euro-Mediterranean. And five, diplomacy of rights and values today more important than ever. So that, as I, I told you, cities are guarantors of rights and freedoms. That's why we needed to strengthen our strategic alliances. Barcelona belongs to the most important city networks with allowance to share challenges and solutions. 
Some, some of them, have their headquarters in the city, such as United Cities and Local Governments, Metropolis, Ibero-American Center of Strategic Urban, Urban De Development, Educating Cities, or Med Cities. We are, we are also part of important local government networks, such as Eurocities or the C40 Cities Clim Climate Leadership Group. Barcelona is the fourth city in the world that is not a state capital that hosts the most consular representatives, just behind Hong Kong, New York, and Hamburg. We must continue moving forward to achieve everything we set out to do. To do so, all of you play a very important role. I wish you all the success in the world in your studies. Above all, that you greatly enjoy your stay in Barcelona, which from today is also your home. Thank you very much and welcome. I'll pass the turn now to the director of the EVA, Jacin Jordana, Professor Jacin Jordana. Thank you very much. Uh, dear Major, uh, dear Rectors, Academic Authorities, uh, dear friends and colleagues, uh, dear students, uh, many thanks, uh, dear Major, for inspiring words uh, and your aspirations to consolidate uh, 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 Barcelona as a global city with a strong human, intimate, and sensible dimension. EVA community at large, including students, alumni, faculty managers, teachers, friends, and supporters, is very proud of Barcelona, and in particular of the human and close nature of uh, the Barcelona as a city. If I might say, we actively aim to produce ambassadors of Barcelona. In our knowledge, uh, Fabric devoted to learn and study international affairs. As one of our mottos says, thinking globally in Barcelona, we think that Barcelona provides a unique perspective on global matters at the crossroads of Europe, the Mediterranean, and Latin America that allows us to focus on multiple dimensions of governance, uh, not considering only a statehood perspective and being more attentive to grassroots dynamics in international settings. Very briefly, I would like to offer a few key numbers for this academic year 23-24 to summarize how IBE has evolved recently regarding teaching and research activities. This year, IBE has an intake of 197 students from 47 different countries, and the total, but the total number of students at IBE uh, remains over 300 uh, because we have students that has uh, doing a two-year masters or splitting the, the masters in, in three or four semesters. And also we have a, a, a growing alumni community that now is reaching more than 1,500 graduates, and is as I said, uh, growing. They are placed in all parts of the world and pursuing outstanding professional careers in the private sector, public administration, diplomacy, international organizations, or even the development sector. Uh, to this purpose, uh, EBA offers five official master's degrees awarded by Barcelona, the Barcelona universities, the three uh, universities <coughs> represented here. And this academic year, we have launched also the uh, Master in Public Policy, a new program combining economics and political approaches, focusing on global and European uh, public policies that represents a new challenge for EBA, but also an opportunity to complete our, our offer connecting international relations to public policy perspective. IBE is also involved in two Erasmus Mundus programs funded by the European Union. And this year, we were very successful because we were granted with the fourth renovation of the Erasmus Mundus Master's uh, Program in Public Policy, which was initiated at the early years of IBE, the year 2007, becoming now one of the older and more consolidated Erasmus Mundus programs in Europe. During the previous academic year, eBay has been expanding its research activities on different fronts as well. We now have about 20 research projects uh, in progress, including four ERC 
uh, projects, and our researchers have been actively publishing on many topics. But in particular, I will highlight uh, a number of papers on the impact of the Ukrainian war in different dimensions, in particular on the European politics, the transformations of global governance and different sectorial dimensions and the configuration of uh, on the, the challenges of international organizations are facing now in, in the context of the current uh, problems in the world, and also the consequences of the pandemic for the uh, reconfiguration of international uh, relations and the uh, life of uh, different uh, dynamics in uh, the international, uh, in international organizations. Uh, to conclude, it's also worth to mention that very recently, eBay has obtained its institutional accreditation from the uh, Catalan Accreditation Agency. The results were, were very good, with a positive recognition of the quality of eBay in all dimensions under assessment, and in particular, our recruiting and promotion pressures. eBay master's programs were already accredited with excellence in previous years, but now the world institution and its academic processes have been accessed in detail with great success. The academic course uh, we are uh, formally opening today faces a very disrupted world, ones in which violence and war are expanding, while global governance suffers gridlocks and fragmentation, as you know, and climate change emerges as a world tragedy. Uh, we will reflect on these uh, unrelated issues inside and outside classroom during this uh, course and hope that our conversations will allow us to better understand current difficulties and to explore potential ways to go out of these labyrinths. We at EBA will stimulate the understanding of, on such problems over the year, and I wish, you, I wish that you, EBA students, will engage in productive and rewarding deliberations and in international affairs during this year, widening your global thinking in Barcelona. Thank you very much. Now to conclude, I would like to make three points, continuing the speech by Jacinto Jordana. The first one, uh, in this academic year, the uh, eBay will be 20 years old. So we ha will have to celebrate in the next semester with certain events, this new uh, position or these 20 years of existence. Uh, the first years were very hard. Then uh, the things were easier. The pandemic make again very hard to survive. But here we have a consolidated project uh, that has the support of the three public universities. And I, I think that this is I think a situation that merits to be celebrated. The second point is precisely that one of the assets of the EBA is the collaboration of the three universities. Uh, the EBA was born as a center that wanted to equilibrate, to balance the teaching with research. And in this second field, above all, at the first one, we have the possibility of interchange, professors, mm -hmm. lecturers, and so But <coughs> in the second field, the research, you know, the collaboration of the universities allow uh, to propose uh, projects of research far more ambitious than would be if they were to be alone uh, with no support by these universities. And the third asset has been mentioned by, by the mayor. You know, Barcelona attracts the students that not only want to study at the EBA, but to spend one year in Barcelona. Uh, it's not a bad idea for, at all <laughs> to, to spend one year here in, in, in Barcelona. Uh, Not only students, we have researchers that, uh, uh, and we have periods of stay here uh, continuously. We cannot accept all the people that is trying to become here the debate for three months, six months to, to do uh, research, special research. So 
I hope that you'll take advantage of this stay in Barcelona, not only to increase your knowledge of international relations, of international security, of international development, but uh, to increase the level of your formation, personal formation, and the number of your friends <coughs> all over the, the world. Good luck. Um, allow me, I, I, I ask the directors if I can, allow me to do the paradox. I close the opening session of the academic year 23-24. Thank you.